In this short video you're going to learn how to use email within the pod. The pod um, accesses your email, your external email account, your Outlook account that is, um, and allows you to email individuals, students, staff, um, parents for example, um, internally um, whilst leveraging the Outlook system. So the example I'm going to show you is one of uh, emailing students within a class. So I'm in a class page, my Year 10 English Conversations class, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom past the class list, and you can see that I've got email students here. I'm going to select that, and it will open up the Compose email interface. By default, it will give you the entire student group, plus yourself, and you can obviously uncheck yourself, um, and it will blind copy in every student and you can carbon copy in other individuals move down to the subject and I'm going to call this one example and I'll call this one this is a test you can scroll down you can even add attachments and then you can select send if you wish to copy the student list, you can do so by hovering over this copy button here where it says show addresses for copy. You can click on this and it will open this interface and it says use uh, this copy um, to, so you can go and you can copy and paste and then you can go into Outlook or Gmail or any other um, email platform that you'd like to use and you can email individuals directly from there. If you are wanting to email parents from within a class, you can do exactly the same thing. So you choose email parents, it will open up the same interface, and you can see that it's going to blind copy all of those parents in there so that their individual information isn't viewable by any other parent. Um, and then you can go in and create your email and then send it. In this final example, I'm going to show you how you can email all of the class teachers of a particular student. So you can see here I'm looking at Rachel's Zoo's profile, and if I scroll down, I can see all of her teachers. I can email them individually if I want, or I can select Email All Class Teachers, and again, it's going to open up that email interface that I showed you earlier. It's going to blind copy in all of the teachers, and you can attach files and send the email that way. Using email in the pod is particularly helpful um, in group pages. Uh, in this example I'll show you that I've, I've gone to the Tennyson group page and of course students have all signed up to that group and there they all are there. Some teachers are involved as well. I can email if I'm let's say the head of Tennyson House or if it was a house captain for instance that needed to contact all of the students within that house it's going to populate that email again blind copy them all in and email them directly from within there that could also be used in uh, co-curricular activities you know sport music and the like so this has been how to use email within the pod